Almost Maxima! Welcome back, witches, wizards, and muggles, to the place where we unbox, review, describe, and then tie it all together to the series so that it all makes sense. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button! Because we got some unboxing to do right now from the Noble Collection. Accio Box! What did I tell you? Let's go! No waiting. Let's get into it right now. Right off the bat, very nice Harry Potter logo wrapped up in plastic so that the box stays nice and protected. And let's open it, like always, together. I think I know what this is. Oh, this is exactly what I thought it was. Rowena Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem. We start off with the display case with the Ravenclaw symbol. We got the Ravenclaw up top. And we got some really nice designs that cover the whole exterior of the box. Yes, it is a box. It is made of cardboard, unfortunately. But... It is very nice to look at, and it is very nice to have something to display. The Lost Diadem of Ravenclaw. This thing is immaculate. If, if this were real, this would be worth a fortune. Because look at all those diamonds. Of course, they're not real. But the, just a detail that went into this diadem. We got the Ravenclaw right there. We got some emeralds and something with this box. As you see, the edges of the diadem that would go on top of your head or around your head are supported by what, something in here that's plastic. So it holds this in place very good. And if you look right here, it's even got a splice for these emeralds. Let me see if I can get you a closer look. Right here. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. This thing is amazing. The, the four owners, Rowena Ravenclaw, Helena Ravenclaw, Rowena's daughter, Tom Marvolo Riddle. And lastly, Harry Potter. So let's go back. I said that there are four owners to this diadem. Rowena is the one who made it. Helena, Rowena's daughter, also known as the Grey Lady of the Ravenclaw House. He who must not be named, who went by Tom Marvolo Riddle at the time. And lastly, Harry Potter. So Rowena Ravenclaw was the one that made this diadem. And she made it so that the person that wore it became more intelligent. It made them smarter. I guess it would make them more aware, more self-important. Mm -hmm. It would just all out make them a better person while wearing this. Well, her daughter wanted to try it out. Her daughter wanted to make herself smarter and wanted to see if it would help her out. So she stole this from Rowena, and she took off to the Lost Forest of Albania. Rowena was worried about her daughter, so Rowena sent the Bloody Baron out to go find her. And he found him. He found her. And the reason why he's called the Bloody Baron will make sense right now. He tried to talk her back into coming back with the diadem. Her mother was worried sick. She probably wanted her diadem back also. She 
refused. Now, once upon a time, the Bloody Baron was in love with Helena. So that's one of the reasons why he got sent, because she thought, Rowena thought, that, that the Bloody Baron could talk her into coming back. If nobody else could, he could. But she refused, so he got mad. He stabbed her. He killed her. And he was horrified. He turned that knife right around. He stabbed himself. Hence the name, the Bloody Baron. Helena hid this in a hollow tree in Albania before she got killed and before the Bloody Baron killed himself. Well, he who must not be named was making horcruxes at the time. And he had a liking for the Hogwarts House crests. And this was one of them that he did not have. So he found the Grey Lady, Helena. And he charmed her into having her tell him exactly where this was. So he went and found it, and this became one of the Horcruxes. But <laughs> if you haven't read the books, he who must not be named at the time, Tom Riddle, went to Hogwarts to get a job. He loved Hogwarts. Him and Harry Potter had this in common. Hogwarts was their home. They didn't know what to do outside of Hogwarts because nowhere else was their home except for Hogwarts. Well, Dumbledore refused. He said, no, I can't. And when Tom Riddle left that day, it's believed that he hid this in the Room of Requirement because he and he alone thought that he was the only one that knew about the Room of Requirement. So he put it in there thinking that it would be nice and protected. That is until the Deathly Hollows, when Harry Potter went to the Room of Requirement to fetch this because he talked to the Grey Lady. She said it's in the place where it's hidden. He found out where it was. He went and got it. Because other people knew about the Room of Requirement. This is one of Tom Riddle's downfalls. He thought he was the only one who knew certain things. And people evolve. People learn. People figure things out. And he, he underestimated people's abilities. He underestimated severely in this. Because Harry Potter went to the Room of Requirement. He took it. Became the owner. And when it finally got out of the Room of Requirement, he threw it back in there. Because why? There was fiend fire in there. And that could kill... The Horcrux. And there we go, everybody. The Lost Diadem of Ravenclaw. So named because Helena hit it, got killed. Nobody knew where it was until Tom Marvolo Riddle came around and found out where it was and made a Horcrux out of it. And I hope I did a good job in, you know, helping make up your mind. This is an amazing piece. And I hope you liked how I tied it in to the series. Because that's what I do here. I not only unbox, I don't only review, but I tell you how it fits into the series. If you like seeing things like that, smash that subscribe button, because there's more coming. And speaking of that, I'll see you guys all next time. Nux!